Hi guys, I'm Linny, this is Candy Craft Creations, a place for me to come and share all my random bits of old stuff, crafty life. This is now the second time of filming because I keep being interrupted by tiny humans. So, we have a birthday party today. My friend's, it's my friend's daughter. Um, she is five today, excuse the hair because this is what I look like when I wake up. Um... I can hear my tiny humans. I hope you can't hear my tiny humans. Um, but that is what we are doing today. We have a birthday party. I have made her something. Being a five-year-old girl, unicorns are highly adored. Um, I didn't fancy making an amigurumi, though. I feel like I'm at a really weird angle. Can we just... I'm sorry, I'm probably going to make you all feel seasick. Um... I don't know if that's better or worse, to be honest. So, um, didn't fancy making amigurumi. Normally, amigurumi is my go-to for gifts. Didn't feel it. However, for the last probably month, I have had hooded scarves running around in my head. Like, I want to make some different character ones, and I just wanted to make some. Like, they're cute, they're quirky, they're fun. So, we have a unicorn hooded scarf, and it's got, I don't know what these would be called, pockets? Is this technically a pocket? Hand holders at the bottom. Um, you won't be able to, well you probably won't be able to see this, no you can't see it. So. This was made with, oh my gosh, it's got my hair all over it now. Four strands of DK held together and a 10mm hook. Um, I made, this is just, there's no pattern, there's no nothing. This is just how I done it. So I made the hood part first and I basically made a rectangle wide enough to go around the head and then seamed up the back. So there's my back seam. I then chained, I think I chained 50. And then attached here, then single crocheted around and then chained 50. And then done UK treble crochet, which is American double crochet. Back and forth for one, two, three, four, about five, six rows. Just so it's wide enough for like a child to be able to put their hand in here. Although I have really big hands and my hands fit in here. I then got to the most tedious task. Just a hair. Um so since making this, I mean I've seen unicorn hooded scarves before. It's not a new concept. Since making this, I've seen quite a few actually um and they all just have stranded hair so we have curly cues i kind of wish i'd done stranded hair because that would have been a lot faster but there we go um horn is made i do four single or double depending on what language you use um crochets into a magic ring I then just keep going around and I just increase every third stitch. No, I do three and then increase the fourth. Until it was as big as I wanted it to be. Um, so there's that one. That's how I make my horns. That's actually the same way as I make my horns when I do amigurumi and stuff as well. So, And the ears are 10 double crochet into a... See, I'm now talking American terms. 10 American double crochet, which is a UK single crochet, no, a UK treble crochet into magic ring. And then I just do another round and that's just one double treble, whichever language you speak, in each stitch. Then I fold it a little bit so it's got a bit of an ear flap. It's quite hard to see on here because white is not the easiest thing to do. And then, obviously, two of those, loads of curly cues, 
um, these are all different sizes because they're all done differently. Um, so some of them are 25, uh, I chain 25 and I do two single crochet, no, three single crochet in each stitch. Some chain 25 and half doubles or half trebles and then some are chain 25 with treble crochets so it's got more than just like one variation like the single crochet is obviously oh don't the single crochets look like this um you that's a half double one and then that's a double one so just to give it a bit of interest um i'm definitely gonna make some more of these i really 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 my friend's little boy is obsessed with pandas so i'd quite like to make a panda one because i think that'd be cute with like big basically it'd just be white a white hood um and the scarf would be in black maybe with like paws so that'd be cute and then like big pom-pom ears This is what we have today. Apparently, I'm turning into the crazy hat lady person, which actually I'm quite fine with. Um, my seven-year-old has been wearing his lion hat every day to school, so he is loving the hat, which is great because I'd been really annoyed if I'd done all that time and effort and him not want it. So that is all I have for you. I hope you are well. I will hopefully do... So my eyes are really ugh today. I will hopefully do a proper video. I haven't actually been crocheting much this week. Other than this, which i done in two days. Mainly because these things. Like... Um... Because I made the... Uh, the main bit and the horn and the ears in one day it's just a curly cues i didn't want to do um although they're really fun to play with i have seen going back to me gonna be the crazy hat lady i have seen some amazing hats on pinterest um which i kind of want to make so, like, basically a snug beanie with curly Q. What are these things? Both sides, pigtails. And stuff like that, which I'm quite tempted by right now. Although, after making these curly cues, I don't know if I am so tempted. Um, just, I don't know. Right, that is all I have for you i hope you're all well we have some weird weather going on um it went from being really really cold like minus eight celsius because we're in england um which was monday morning and yesterday morning was like three degrees and i'm like what is going on so can't win we're gonna complain about the weather no matter what i'm english so i love you all and i will speak to you very soon bye guys no turn off <laughs>